Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video and talk about something that I've been seeing a lot recently and I think needs to stop. That is that I went on Twitch, I went on the Valorant section, and I looked at the top four streams and three of the top four were fucking VODs. Today, I want to explain why I think that's bad for Twitch, why I think that's bad from a pragmatic common sense perspective, and also why I think it's already against the TOS and just for some reason Twitch hasn't done anything about it. Now, before I get into any of that, I do want to say, why am I making this video and not a Valorant streamer? Well, I think it's because a lot of them are afraid to. This is something everybody sees, and I think as a streamer, many of us can probably see how this is bad and unhealthy for the platform, but a lot of Valorant streamers probably don't want to speak up about this because they don't want to get accused of being jealous and wanting that, that stream's viewership, which, by the way, I think they deserve because they're the ones that are actually online. So I'm not making this video for myself. If these people go offline, the last fucking thing they're going to do is watch a WoW stream, but I have a lot of friends of mine that are playing Valorant, trying to get discovered, or at least trying to have a fair shot, and they're getting buried by a fucking video and that should not be happening on a live streaming platform now the first thing that I want to talk about is why I think it's already against the TOS whenever classic WoW came out I was playing the game for a couple of hours and then I got disconnected and put in a four-hour queue four or five hour queue and what I opted to do then was I decided that I would just stream myself sleeping while the queue uh, basically ticked down so what I ended up doing is I asked somebody at Twitch I said hey is this okay for me to do? And they said, yes it is, but you have to do it in an unlisted category because sleeping is non-interactive content. I don't see how sleeping on a live stream is non-interactive content, but at the same time, playing a fucking video isn't. It seems very obvious to me that this is not interactive because it's not even a live broadcast. And number two, it's not live to begin with. So even with a tournament or something like that, that's not a live broadcast or not interactive, excuse me, at least it's live. And there are a few exceptions to that, like the Twitch Rivals Valorant event, but I think that's a very extenuating circumstance and not necessarily the norm. The fact is that I don't think that video content really should have a place on Twitch over live content. Now, the worst part about this is that a lot of the people that are doing this are actually doing it with the intention to deceive people into thinking that it's live content. Why do I say that? because the titles for a lot of these streams that are 24 hours has the little red circle, meaning that, oh, this is a live stream, and then it says, uh, you know, drops here, live stream, and then it has in parentheses or something like that in all lowercase letters, oh, by the way, it's just a rerun. And it's intentionally written that way in order to deceive people into thinking that it's a live stream and get them to go into that stream instead of somebody else's. And because those people are streaming for so long, all the different browse viewers that are looking to just watch a Valorant stream in order to get a drop from Valorant are going to just sit there and park their accounts and park their computer right there at a 24-hour live stream. And the people that are actually broadcasting the game, actually playing the game on Twitch live, are not going to get a chance to even have those people see them or discover them because the main top streamers are sitting there with a massive amount of viewership burying all the actual streamers that are playing the game in the way that they're supposed to, which is live. Uh, I think this is already something that's very bad for the website, and also it's bad for other streamers because it hurts their discoverability. In a lot of ways on Twitch, it's a zero-sum game. Most of the times, if one person goes online and you like watching that person more than the person that you're currently watching, you'll stop watching that person that you're currently watching and go watch the other person. If that decision never really happens, and you have people that are just sitting there, uh, you know, with their, their stream on and, you know, somebody else goes online, many people never actually make that decision to go watch somebody else because they're already parked there just waiting for their drop to begin with. So it really hurts the people that are trying to get noticed in Valorant, especially for newer streamers and smaller streamers, whenever you have somebody who's, you know, has a larger audience who is basically able to take up one of those top spots and they're not even playing the game, they're asleep. And I don't think this is good also for Twitch because you're going to have a lot of new viewers. Uh, Twitch has an opportunity right now with Valorant to convert a lot of casual viewers and people that are just Riot Games fans to actually being Twitch watchers. And what kind of impression does it give a new viewer to go to a stream and to be immediately deceived by a streamer that's obviously doing this to just get more money or something like that? And I'll talk about that afterwards. What kind of impression does it leave on a new viewer that's just trying to go for a drop and they might try to convert that person into actually being a Twitch watcher when the first thing that they see is something that's not live and it's intentionally deceptive? I don't think that's good at all. So on top of that, I don't think the streamers that are doing this are necessarily the ones that you should blame or do you think 
I, I don't think you should direct any sort of criticism or harassment to them because they're just trying to do what's best for them. They want to do as well as they can. Uh, who knows whenever their streaming career is up. This could be the last big game, and after this, they could just become irrelevant. So they're trying to make as much money as they can, and I don't really fault them for that at all. But it is really shitty the way that the system works. And also, I think that Twitch needs to come in and make sure that they know that this is unacceptable, especially whenever it's harmful to other creators. And keyword on that is creator, <laughs> not rerunner. So uh, anyway, I wanted to talk about this because I think it's really important. Again, I've got a lot of friends in the Valorant section who I feel aren't really given their fair shake. And I think that one of the big reasons for that is because a lot of people never even see them because all the top streams, and those are the, you know, you go to a new section, where are you gonna go? Probably look at the first two or three streams and those people never even get seen. And it's for a reason that's completely unfair. There is a rerun feature on Twitch and it's not a coincidence that all of the people that are at the top are not using it. It's intentionally deceptive, they're misusing the services on the website, and they're doing it, and it's harming other creators and also the website's growth in the long term as well. So guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, really appreciate it, and uh, you know, let other people know, and um, I I'll try to talk to somebody at Twitch or something like that, but I, I do think this should stop. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.